another chance for you to repent. Gideon, delay is dangerous. Demonstration now to obey is better than sacrifice. What are you still waiting for?
simply have adjusted the program. So nobody to come and question us, uh, this is not what is written here. We have adjusted it to suit our own purpose here. After this chorus, then the, our brethren from uh, Ekiti we come over here to present their playlist. Somebody shout hallelujah. We met one of our staff here. Yesterday, our daddy in the bishop gave us a song. I remember we practiced that song at Ibiama at our last choir practice. So we are calling on our brother who we met here, a star in this diocese, a reverend for that matter, our brother, Reverend, Reverend, I think you'll be clapping your hands, Reverend Emma Justice, to give us the song, song for that.
Father, our fireful and pray the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, please. Don't forget our evangelism and weekly programs. Everything is intact. And don't forget, you must know what? Come late. The Lord bless you as you go in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah, what's that? Oh, Sarah. My able Sarah. Who are you? I should try. It's your first time. I'm here before. Sir. Uh, really, I appreciate God, sir. Okay. Um, how about the school fees? The school fees? I told you that. I told you earlier that my child will be going to school next week. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Maybe we have anything on ground. Maybe in the first spot. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? The church account is so scanty. We don't have much on ground. Yes, I told you that next week is the job. Program ahead. Next year, next week is our mid year anniversary. Anniversary. So Anything we get. Let's give it. Close the tides. And offering. And the offering. Yes, sir. We put it together. I think I will make you reasonable. That will make you reasonable. You know, I'm born for my child. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Please, you don't, don't be distracted with all this thing. You know, heaven says, heaven help you to know. Who help you? God bless you. Can you be a good school? You are a good, a good follower. God bless you in the name of Jesus. You are not going yet. Okay. Um, my heaven lady, da. My pastor. Who is you? I'm fine, sir. I heard you have problem with your landlord. With my landlord? Yes, I heard you are fighting. Oh my God. That foolish, uh, stupid, my lady, you slept in the church. He kept on reporting me to you again. Man of God, are, are you born again? This one not born again. You are cursing. I'm not cursing. Not even at all now in your in church premises. I'm not cursing my pastor. Ah, please, whatever the issue, please, go and solve it all. My pastor said I'm cursing, I'm not cursing. <laughs> I need to see the choir mistress. Choir mistress. Oh, my reverend. How were you? How was it today's service? See, let me tell you. The part you play is yours. Your ministry. Oh, my reverend. It's a provocative ministry. Oh, wow. See, every time you shake it, and every time you run it, oh. every time you run it, wow. you provoke the That's why I love you, my reverend. Wow. I love you. I want to tell you something. Okay. Yes. You know we are going to use it. Okay. It cannot be the same hotel we are using. It will be different. No worry. Before. It is messy time. I will think you very hard. Before. No worry. Even if you want to have no use to it. Listen to me. Listen to me. Before it was Raoul's time. Okay. It was Kaka's time. No worry, my own man. But this one you will see tonight. No worry. God bless you. But you know we are in the church. I will talk to you about the same around you. Okay. You know that this thing is between me and you. To that, uh, God 
God is uh, God is helping us. God is helping us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See how dirty you 
you are. See how dirty you are. You be smart. If you are not mad, <laughs> the church is a lady. And you are stealing God's money for your child's school fees. Who told you your children will see tomorrow? Very soon, 
we will know. Very soon, we will know. Your reward is waiting for you. If you like, join the generation of mad people. <laughs> join the generation of mad people. Most of you will even be preaching to the mad people, not knowing that you are the mad person. Take a look at you. Just take a look at you. <laughs> Just take a look at you. Just take a look at you. Are you not mad? Check your lives. Check yourself. Check your lives. Check yourself. If you are mad or not. Now, the garment you are putting on. Only true repentance. Only true repentance can save you from the impending doom and destruction. A word is saved. It's enough. Only for the wise. Thank you.
place we are. There's the hour for hearts to be circumcised. Oh Lord, let there be an apple of your anointing from above. Upon everyone that we hear the, the sound of our voice this evening. Even at this hour. Of repentance. 
benefits. When you repent, what are the benefits? Lastly, I will call you to the Lord. Praise the Lord. Repentance simply means a change of mind. A change of mind. A change of mind from the negative to the positive. A change from bad to good. A change from the ungodly to the godly. Hallelujah. Jesus came with a mission to call the righteous. 
Jesus came with a mission. I have not come to call the righteous unto myself. That who? That sinners to repentance. That sinners to what? To repentance. This is the mission of our Lord and Savior Jesus. And this is the mandate, the divine mandate he has given unto us. He has discovered Nigeria today. Corruption has taken everywhere. Dora, a queen of blessed memory, came and she decided to rebrand Nigeria. She tried the best she could to rebrand Nigeria. Ah, why must students go to school? They don't want to read. They only want to brag lecturer to have their way. You lecturer, you must be rebranded. Who will go to a prison? 
generation will decide that if I can return from this one, I will resign. I will never, I will not go again. But after his return, another force, another force, another power will push him. Refusal to 
repent. Luke chapter 13, verse number 3. Luke 13, 3. When you refuse to repent, what will happen? Luke 13, 3. I tell you. Verily I say unto you. No. No. That unless you repent. Unless you repent. You will all likewise perish. You will perish. May you never perish in the name of Jesus. Amen. I know you will escape tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. The grace to escape. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You cannot perish. APS cannot come to your house. Then you will perish. That is an error. Power to comfort. May it come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Why? Must we repent? Why must we repent? In Luke chapter 15, verse number 7, the Bible said there is great joy in heaven when a sinner turns to the Lord Jesus. If a sinner can turn and forsake his wicked way and embrace the Lord Jesus, he will be saved and there will be great joy in heaven. Number two, Acts of Apostles chapter 17, verse number 13. Acts 17, 13. Why should we repent? What are the benefits Acts of repentance? 17, 17, 13. 13. Truly, truly, these times of ignorance God overlooked. In the time of ignorance, God overlooked the world. That now commands all men everywhere to repent. But now, even today, has commanded every soul to repent. God is here commanding every man or woman of Allah to turn to the Lord Jesus. It is a command. God is giving a command. If the master gives a command, everyone is duty bound to obey. with the law. No man argue with the father. When the father commands a son, the son must obey. The Lord is commanding every boy, every girl in this city to come to him. It is a command. Why has God, or why does God have this initiative for his people to come back to him? It is his law.
for life unto life. When you repent, you will have life. Life in its fullness. Hallelujah. Praise God. When you turn to the Lord, you will have life in its fullness. Hear me, my people. The gospel we preach. The gospel we preach to you tonight is all about the death of the Lord Jesus Christ as our substitute. Hello. The gospel is all about the death of the Lord Jesus as our substitute. He died that he should not die. What is justification? You who was a sinner, you who ought to be condemned to death for your sin, Jesus came and justified you. What does that mean? That if you can believe him, if you can receive him, every sin you've committed is forgiven. No matter the magnitude of the sins you've committed, if you can come to Jesus tonight, that Jesus here am I, every sin you've committed will be forgiven. You might have killed 1,000 persons, whether with witchcraft or with collapse or through political power. You can come to the Lord Jesus tonight. Every sin you committed will be forgiven. That is the concept of justification. And number three, Jesus ascended into heaven for our glorification, for you to live a glorious life. Jesus ascended into heaven far above the reach of all principalities and powers for your glorification. Examine your life. What a life do you live now? Do you live a life that is satisfactory to you? You cannot live. If you can come to surrender, if you can come to say, Lord Jesus, here am I. Have mercy on me. Jesus, forgive me. All your sins will be blotted out, even with his blood. That is the reason he shed the blood on the cross of Calvary. Who born or just what Christ your born
that it has now been revealed by the manifestation of the appearance of our Savior Jesus, yes? Who has abolished death? Who has what? Say it again. Who has abolished death? Who has abolished death? A.A.P.A. Who has done what? Abolished death. The Lord Jesus abolished death. Why? And brought death and immortality to life through the gospel. Through the gospel. Hallelujah. The Lord Jesus abolished death. By the reason of this gospel we have brought to you.
All categories of people we know in the society they are here. So my brother, feel free, whatever you are. When you talk about people who have the money, they are among us here. Education, they are here. Whatever, all of them. That is the step you have uh, taken tonight. That you want to bring the gospel. And this gospel, you are starting it from Allah. Our Lord Bishop will give it, it will, the evidence is going to see because you people will be going from the, uh, the four corner of this uh, equivalent diocese. Have accepted to preach the gospel. <laughs> By standing up here, you are making a vow. Come rain, come shine, in season and out of season, I will preach the gospel. Is that your conviction? Is that your commitment? Before I pray for you, because some of us can be carried away by ministration, you cannot preach the gospel if you don't have the gospel inside of you. What you don't have, you don't uh, give. First of all, I will recommit you to the Lord Jesus. Raise your two hands up. Say, Jesus, I surrender unto you. First of all, I surrender unto you. I confirm and reaffirm that you are my Lord and my Savior. Give me the grace and power to remain your child in the name of Jesus Christ. And by this commitment, I shall have nothing to do with devil, with sin, or with the system of the world. Jesus, come and have your way in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now the next prayer is to commission you. The word of God says, it's not of he that will it, or he that run it. It's of God that showeth mercy. In the preaching of the gospel, it's not by power, nor by might, but by the spirit of uh, God. Raise your two hands up once more. Say, Father, Father as your child, tonight, I'm standing before this congregation to say, I want to serve you as an evangelist. Empower me now. Empower me now. I need your power. I need your power. That power that came upon the disciples on the day of Pentecost that made them to move. Let it happen to me now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Raise your two hands up. Father, these ones, only you know them better than every person here. You know their commitments, and you know their level of commitment. Having answered this call, Lord, I pray right now for a special unction of your power, unction of your grace upon them. Like the day of Pentecost, thou Spirit of God, like thumb of fire, touch them, empower them, now, 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 now. now.
the Holy Ghost. And when he came, they could not resist it. They moved. Now, Father, this was one they move. They want to move. Touch them once more. 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 Put your two hands upon your head. Yes. Receive thou power to preach the word of God as an evangelist in Alo, in Equally Land, in River State, in Nigeria. In the name of Jesus! Thank you, Lord. We are here by commission. In the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Listen to me. Please, sir. This brethren will go tomorrow. Will we soon please? Can we have their names so we can organize them? Not to come in and say I'm going away. We need to put them together to have a formidable force to work with this team. Thank you. So submit your names and contacts. Amen. So we we are ready that for I will give that announcement later. But as we want to sing this chorus, we want to crave the indulgence of our clergymen that are on the platform, apart from our Lord Bishop. Please, you will go down. All the people, the new converts, and those that are seated, as the chorus is going on, you lay hands on them. Just want to lay hands on them and come back to the platform, please. All our clergymen. <laughs>
We used to have what we call the discipleship conference. It goes for one week, you know, we camp like, like this one, we camp and teach and pray and study. But this year, if that we have the group to partner with, we allow them to come and work. So instead of our discipleship conference in our secondary school, we are doing this crusade. Yay! And we want to thank you very much for coming. Um, like we said yesterday, you are not just coming, you are leaving a baby behind. Hallelujah. You are leaving a new brand church behind. Yes. In fact, tomorrow, like I've been said, they will go to worship in all the churches in our own land, and then some will come to worship in the new church where we will start tomorrow. And I want to say that. This church, I want to use this church as a point of mark with our relationship. Yes. Each time I see this church, I will remember AAPS. Yes. Time you came here. And um, where, wherever Bishop stands and says that he stands, I will call that church a name. Yes. And uh, I've been praying since yesterday because I want us to maintain that link. You know, when Jesus said, Go ye into the world and preach the gospel. Yes. Now, he, come, he told this to the, the apostles, and they said, Tarry here until you receive the power. Yes. And when you receive the power, you go out. Yes. Now, when they got the power, persecution came to the church, because the church started growing yes. after the sermon of Peter. Then they scattered. That's scattering made them to now go out yes. to preach. It's because of going out that Philip, the so-called first evangelist in the Lord of Africa, yes. met the Ethiopian eunuch yes. and baptized him and converted him. Yes. And then in course of the power of God moving, Paul miraculously was converted yes. on the way to, to Damascus. Yes. And I have studied Adam Ibutu. Yes. I read a lot. Yes. I have two books written about him. Yes. And I've read encountered the gospel miraculously I, I don't have time to tell the story but I've read so much about him and divinely he is called to do this work and through his ministry people like you we are raised he's going to be with the Lord but you are continuing the work in his name now you have come to this place this church that you want to start for us shall be called shall be called American Church of Green Commission <laughs> American Church of what? Green Commission I have you in mind but the work you are doing is the Great Commission so whenever you go remember that you have a church in the Queen Diocese from time to time come and worship Satan himself, you are his God. He has no more to say he has any other God than me. You rule over all. Tonight, oh God, manifest. 
you together. Hand it over. If it is your son, your, uh, your son or your daughter, hand it over to God. There is a particular prayer that we are going to make. I will end it with that prayer. We shall The Lord will bless you and you will bring the part that you have vowed unto him. Both our converts just talk to God. It's not difficult to pray. As you go to your dad You can bring your prayer to conclusion. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Father, I lift unto you all that your children have handed over. Not You sent us here. And they have handed over all their problems that they have narrated to you. They handed over to you. Father, you have not disappointed anyone one day. You are bigger than our problem. You cannot run away for any reason because you are God. In the name of Jesus, manifest yourself, O oh God. disappoint you. To declare that the Lord has received all that you have handed over unto him. And I declare upon your life right now that that problem which you have handed over can never be your own again. Because 
results of your gospel, why would you not ask our problem to cease because of the gospel also? And so because of the gospel, with God and that we give you pleasure I declare unto you receive them in the name of Jesus you are going with them, with the answers to your problem you are set free from all problems our father our Lord Bishop has declared upon us what we will carry home, what we will carry home, the blessings of the Lord. He says, make it a rich. Demonstrates to these people 
that you are the God that blesses. Yeah. That you are the God that makes makes one rich. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. From now as you go home, yeah. things that have been had before yeah. in your finances yeah. shall be softened. Yeah. And things shall go well with you. Yeah. I release the blessings upon you. Yeah. That the Lord shall bless you. Yeah. And you will bring a portion of the blessing yeah. with joy yeah. unto the Lord. Yeah. Father, it's a two way. It's like a covenant prayer. Bless them. That they will bring a portion of the blessing. This our new church shall be built. In the name of Jesus Christ. Take the glory. In Jesus name. And so Father by tomorrow morning. We shall set out on our journey back home. Yeah. I commit the entire night yeah. unto your hand. Yeah. Cover your people yeah. with your presence. Yeah. And make a wall of fire yeah. round about your people tonight. Yeah. And in the morning after we have come from your sanctuary, yeah. Cover everyone that has come from far and near with your presence. Every vehicle by which we came, we cannot go in without you. Let your presence board, and we shall board with you. And set your pillar of cloud. safely to his or her home. I commit your home unto God's hand. You shall meet your home intact. You shall not meet your home in sadness. In the name of Jesus. The blessings of God cover all of you. In Jesus mighty name we pray. God. And we saw Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, Amen. the Father, Amen. the Son, Amen. and the Holy Spirit Amen. remain with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you.